Hey guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Rita Okolo. If this is your first time tuning in, thank you so very much for joining us. And if this is not your first time, thank you so much for coming back. So today I decided to film a tutorial on how I get this hairstyle. This is my high puff that I usually wear my hair in. This is my safe zone, my comfort zone when it comes to my hair, when I don't have any other idea as to how to wear my hair, whether it's I'm going out, or I'm going to work, or for any other reason, this is the hairstyle I'll go to like really, really quickly if I can't think of anything else to do. It wears nicely in a lot of different settings. It's sleek. So everything is nice and tucked away up in a puff. I don't have very thick hair, so a lot of the thickness you are seeing is just from my length. So yeah, I just wanted to show you guys how it is I do my hair like this and to kind of dispel any myths that this is a, a little piece that people, you know, you know those hair pieces that people attach? Some people think that that's what it is. I usually get asked questions like, where do you get your hair piece from? And sometimes I'm tempted to even say, uh, Jesus. <laughs> but no before we hop right in do not forget to subscribe down below and to give this video a thumbs up if you do enjoy the tutorial it does help to spread the word so that others can enjoy the same footage that you are enjoying and it does help you support my channel so don't forget to thumbs this video up all right let's get into it all right so we are starting on a freshly cleaned hair co-washed hair and I'm simply taking my hair out of my ultimate stretch style. This is the hairstyle I go to when I want to really stretch my hair for the, the next day for any style I'm doing without any bit of heat. It gives me maximum volume and slight definition, which is really important because with, with my hair, I do have to choose either between volume and definition when I am doing a, a stretch style. All right, so the next thing I'm doing is I had gone in with a little bit of my favorite oil right now, which is the Wild Growth Hair Oil. I put that on my palms and I'm gently just separating my strands, just going in and just separating. There's going to be a lot of fluffing and separating with this hairstyle. And if that's not the kind of look you're going for, then this may not be the right video for you to check out. However, with this hairstyle, with the way my hair is, because I don't have supremely thick hair, I have um, a healthy head of hair, but it's not supremely thick, so I do have to go in and separate a little more just to get the right amount of volume. Going in with a little more of this oil, I'm going to coat my outer perimeter with this and slightly gently just massage this into my scalp. What I'm doing is, because I am about to put my hair up, I'm going to be combing and brushing and picking. I want to make sure that my my hairline is taken care of. Going in with my handy dandy pick, I'm going to be lightly and gently raking up my roots all around my hair. The process here actually helps to raise my hair to stand up on top of my head preparing the shape for the high puff going in with the trusty eco styler gel this is the argan oil flavor i am going to go in with just a dollop massage it into my hands and brush it slightly onto my edges I'm going to do this all the way around my head, adding just a little bit more to put at the back. I don't like to take in too, too much gel when it comes to my hairline, just because I might switch up the style a few days later. This is the most important thing here. A soft, soft, I cannot emphasize soft, bore bristle brush. This helps me to create waves definition, but also smooth out and really brush down my hair so that it's easy for my band to glide on and push up against it. Some of y'all are out here bald and edgeless because you keep using your shower scrubber as an edge brush. Please use a soft bore bristle brush. It's important. Next, I'm going to be taking this stretchy band. Okay, so this stretchy band actually came from one of those, um, you know, those sweat bands you use at the gym. What I did was I went around and I just cut it 
all the way around and that's how I got this um, versus using an elastic band so I'm taking it placing it right at the base of my head and I pushed it all the way up and now I'm gonna make a loop just above my ears and still resting it on top of my forehead fluffing up the sides to push all the way up this process you know it might take some people a while to get it if you're not used to this however once you are used to this you can do this hairstyle in literally six minutes flat um and it's really great because of how quick and easy it is to do this i'm just fluffing and fluffing some more in order to get a desired shape putting on a little more eco styler gel on my edges and swooshing it back just to get my edges nice and smooth and I'm going to be going in now with my scarf. I'm placing the scarf at the base of my head. I'm not worrying too much of the fact that it's on my face right now. What I want to make sure is that it's covering my entire perimeter including my hairline and my baby hairs. So I'm making a crisscross around the front, taking it all the way back, tying it into a knot. And now I'm gonna just gently pull out my hair in the front from anything that was covered by the scarf and push the scarf slightly back, okay? Just off of my face because I am going to go in and do my makeup. I, I love this scarf um, and this scarf method because it's kind of cute. It, in case if you do have to go out, you can still go outside with the scarf on your head like that. So now we are back. I'm gonna take the scarf off. And the last part here is just to fluff. That's really it, the, air, the hairstyle is quick, it's simple, it's easy, it looks great. You can wear this to any function. It's classy enough for work, yet still playful enough for, uh, you know, if you do have to go out. Um, it's just great and simple. Okay guys, that is the end of the tutorial. If you did like this hair tutorial, remember don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe on your way out as well. Let me know in the comment section down below what other hairstyles you would like to see me try out or any other hairstyles you've seen on me that you would like me to do a tutorial on it. I will link right here um, my previous video on my uh, wash and go routine I had actually tried. So you can go ahead and check that out. That's the other hair tutorial that is on my channel. Um, don't forget to check out a few of my other videos as well. I will leave them right here for you to watch. Thank you so much for stopping by. I hope to see you in another video. And until then, stay blessed and stay golden.